Okay, it's time to visit with our friends at Bernalillo County. They're here. <laughs> John Barney is here. Uh, he is one of the recreational planners of Bernalillo County and uh, has been appearing kind of regularly now. It's good to have you back, John. It's great to be here, Larry. Yeah, There's always so much going on. Always so much going on. And this Saturday down at the, at the Hubble House, we'll have it food preservation, too. So we're going to look at yeah. different types of canning. And I have John Garlish here with me from New Mexico State Extension Service talking Wonderful. a little about... Welcome, John. Thank you very much for having me. A lot of people are into this now. I'm Food preservation it. is making a wonderful comeback. It and is. Through the Extension Office at New Mexico State University, we offer food preservation classes throughout the year, especially in the summer, whether it be dehydration, uh, canning. We have wonderful uh, samples from what we canned earlier this year. And Cindy Davies, our home economist, can answer all your food preservation uh, questions. Wonderful. Is, is this hard to do? I, it seems like quite a process. A lot of boiling and mm. sterilizing and everything else. It, it can be hard to do if you don't do it right. So yeah. taking the classes, learning how to do things safely, and, and following food preservation and food safety is essential. Uh, but once you get the, the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. It, yeah, it's like anything else becomes easier. That is correct. Ah, and I remember, like, my great-grandmother and grandmother, it was all about canning. Yeah. It was all about growing their peas and vegetables in right. the backyard. Right, this time of year. And canning. I mean, nowadays, we're, we're relying on corporations, again, there again, to preserve right. our food with chemicals and with a process that isn't really good for us. But this is a way to, um, to go, go back in time a little bit and... Go back in time, but also teaching essentials and reconnecting people where their food actually comes from. So yeah, having exactly. that connection. So through the extension office, we also teach people how to garden, how to farm, how to grow their uh, produce, right. but then also how to preserve it and then feed your families with that. So we have ongoing classes throughout the year. And if you go visit our website, bernerleoextension.nmsu.edu, you can find out all about our classes or even call our office with your gardening questions and your canning questions, food preservation. So. We're here as a resource and bringing scientific research information for you. So this Saturday, you're going to have a whole session on this, huh? Absolutely. Okay. Right. From 9.30 to 12, 9 o'clock, I'm sorry, 9, 9 o'clock to 12.30. And so three and a half hours, we'll learn all different kinds of food preservation techniques, in particular dehydration mm. and fermentation, oh, which are two techniques oh. I'm less familiar with than some yeah. of the other ones. So. Now, is, is can, are canning vegetables, is that a different process than canning fruit? So canning uh, salsa, canning jams and jellies, uh, you can do a hot water bath, and yes, that is a different canning method as compared to uh, canning fruit and canning vegetables and also canning meat. And that you have to do pressurized, ah. the pressure canning too. So that way it's safer and it's at a higher temperature to make sure that no bacteria or diseases come sure. through. What did you bring? So we have a little bit of red raspberry preserves. Beautiful. You can see the beautiful seeds right in there. Look at that. We have fresh apricots that have been preserved as well. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those yeah. are good. <laughs> Processed stewed tomatoes that you can use in your sure. wonderful soups and, and stews. And your tomato gravy. And tomato yes. gravy. And last but not least, we have our peach salsa. Oh. So fresh white peaches Look with a that. little bit of spice. And right now, can I take that home John, with me, John? No, 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 I want that because I'm going to enter it in the state fair later today. Can I put my name on it? It's already too late for what? that. Yes, they ju we judged last week for no. that. Oh. And also online, well, we have plan. canning green chili. So right now, green chili oh, yeah. is coming on. So if you have any you questions, you can can it. You can can green chili. Everybody yes. freezes mm -hmm. it. Uh, you can can it. You can mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. green chili. Yes. And we have all the process for you right here online. Look at that. So how much time are we talking about for? For canning. It just depends on which product that you're working with, how much preparation goes in beforehand. It will take a couple hours to do, yes. But you can well, do other bad. stuff in between. And then it stays, it stays good, hoping that you do it correctly. Hoping that you do it years. correctly. Years? Uh, years? For a couple of years. There this is an expiration on anything. for the doomsday anything. preppers in my family? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's fascinating. And um, once you learn how to do it, this is a skill that you'll have Life for the long. years to, to come. And what a I'm, great gift. I'm absolutely curious about mm -hmm. this. This is something I kind of want to do. Mm -hmm. um, well, my gifts, you can put your little tweak and share your family recipes and even put a family recipe card with it and gift it to all your relatives, oh. friends. Right. And I think it's a great Christmas absolutely. gift. Absolutely. I really do. 
Um, but you're seeing an a, a upswing in people wanting to do this now? That is correct. We have calls and waiting lists all year round for these, uh, for mm -hmm. these classes. Whoa. This, this particular class is backed by popular demand. I mean, the as part of, yeah, as part of our backyard farming series. You know, we, were, we thought initially we were just going to do farming classes, but wow. there's all these other preservation courses. Hey, John, this is so uh, fascinating. Thank you for sharing this. My pleasure. Yeah. You're welcome, Larry. Uh, we'll check it out this Saturday. And uh, John Barney with us today from the uh, Parks and Rec Department at Burnley County, and John Garlish with the Extension Service. Uh, get out those uh, ball jars and mm -hmm. go at it, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll come back uh, with more of the Morning Brew in just a sec. Thanks. You got to do something with all those peaches.